Oh my goodness, this build is something else. Legendary Hunters? Nah, I have never heard about them. <laughs> Pure story mission. Get the hell out of here, man. <laughs> Where is your brother? From another mother. I will find him. Yep. Come to daddy, come to daddy. Oh, yes, sir. Damn, this build is ridiculous, boy. Welcome. No, it's too early. Wait a second. Three, two, Welcome to insanity, <laughs> yeah boys! Hello beautiful and amazing people, badass Dark Zone agents, Butcha in the building as usual, basically daily I am here on YouTube covering Division 2, if you are new here, hey! Welcome to the family brother and today I will show you one of the best solo legendary builds in the game right now. Actually this set is pretty versatile and you can use it in team play as well. You can throw away typical skill build and use this one. It has ridiculous survivability since we have almost 70% protection from elites. You can play around with mods, it depends on your preference. If you don't need the protection from elites, you could use crit damage mods or whatever you like guys so for damage brother intimidate and we are running perfect intimidate which will give you 40% damage boost Scorpio exotic shotgun will boost your damage as well maybe you didn't know but with full stacks all damage resources will be basically getting 20% damage boost so when you are gonna apply all the stacks on your enemy from all sources that enemy will receive by 20% more damage. Super dope synergy and that's the why Scorpio shotgun works really well in team play. So if anybody runs with you, skill build, DPS build doesn't matter. Your target will receive more damage from them as well. Super dope synergy, survivability with memento backpack. Hug. By this time I think you know how Memento works, it slaps in PV because it will provide you with one offensive core attribute, armor core attribute and skill tier, super dope backpack and on kill you will have a huge amount of armor which will be counted as bonus armor and, it'll, and it will activate immediately intimidate talent which will boost your damage and with full stacks you will have 3% armor regen and guys bulwark as well will give you armor regen but before we continue i just want to let you know that we have some sponsor tags and guys if you don't have enough time with good teammates but you still want to have all the best items in your game then leaving.net is set for you they have absolutely amazing team on xbox they will complete your order twice as fast now everything happens with icon sharing this series has been working for many many years it has tons of customer reviews but now with my promo code rbd you will have 15 percent discount on all services it's an amazing deal especially when right now this site supports outriders as well so check those items but if you have any question, feel free to type your message and operator will reply you immediately. But now, let's get back to my super strong legendary build. I'm running here three pieces from Bulwark set. Also guys, I will remind you that from three piece Bulwark set, actually you will get 50% shield health. That's really handy at legendary difficulties. 1% armor regen, which will work really well with Memento backpack. Together we will have 4% armor regen with full Memento stack. Super dope synergy and survivability is really, really strong. And of course, additional 10% armor and we have 1.8 million armor with two offensive core attributes if i have to be honest man i really think that you could go with this set with 1.3 or even 1. Nah. now 1.1 million will be too short for legendary difficulty but 1.3 1.5 million actually would be really really nice option I'm running with 1.8 million armor, I'm really really tanky but sometimes I feel that I'm lacking damage so I think 1.5, 1.6, 1.7, 1.8, 1.9, 1.9, 1.9, 1.9, 1.9, 1.9, 1.9, 1.9, 1.9, 1.9, 1.9, 1.9, 1.9, 1.9, 1
six would be better for me but i know a lot of agents that have to deal huge amount of damage and they feel better in basically glass cannon build but since we have huge amount of protection from elites basically you have to only worry about red mobs or non-elite enemies other than that with huge amount of armor regen and that protection from elites nobody will take you down just play smart take your corners time to take time to take your covers check out shield health since we are not really using technician specialization we can't use artificial hive which could heal our shield so you have to think out of box how to stop enemies you could use drone to distract them or maybe foam launcher just like i'm doing to stop enemies they again are distracted and guys if you're gonna play maybe uh, rogue agents at summit not playing sorry what i'm talking about fight rogue agents or maybe legendary hunters at floor 100 use foam and reviver hive you don't need shield it's worthless all other skills will not work use foam to stop hunters and of course if something will go south reviver hive will bring you back from that so really really handy especially if you're lone wolf if you play this game in solo mode reviver hive i think is one of the best friends for you keep that in mind also guys one important note since we are running survivalist specialization applying status effects again will increase damage from your basically teammates on dead status affected enemies your teammates will receive damage boost and scorpio shotgun is applying status effects in pv in left right and center so status effects will be everywhere you can throw fire grenades so super super dope synergies guys i really like this set but it depends on your preference it's really versatile build so with no further ado let's get into it and brother thank you for watching all my highlights i truly believe that this set is one of the best legendary builds in the game right now and please don't kill me in comment section that i should use four piece bulwark set i know how it works but there is a reason why i'm using improvised the gear so for specialization i'm using survivalist because it will provide me with extra protection from my leads and that's absolutely must have if you're gonna fight legendary difficulty mobs. Also one important note, when you're gonna apply status effect on somebody, immediately your teammates will receive damage boost on that target. It's super dope since Scorpio Shotgun will apply status effects left, right and center, but pro tip or handy tip about you didn't know, when you're gonna apply all debuffs buffs from Scorpio Shotgun on target, that target actually will receive incoming damage from all sources by 20% more. So you will basically boost your teammates damage as well. If you're gonna fight bosses with Scorpio Shotgun, with all buffs applied, damage will be raised by 20% from all sources. It works on skills, guns, you name it. I just showed you at shooting range how my drone received damage boost. So again, it works in solo mode, aka lone wolf mode, or in team play. Super dope synergy, but for second gun, I'm running FAMAS with it. See, if you don't have a nice FAMAS, you could use test subject, name an assault rifle with perfect in sync, and receive 40% weapon damage boost and skill damage boost really really dope scenery there for pistol it depends on your preference actually in this set we will not use any pistol whatsoever so it's pointless again it depends on your preference but for gear i'm running three piece bulwark and bulwark will provide you with 10 percent total armor boost armor regen and shield health shield health is really handy at legendary difficulty and guys main thing here that i'm investing in protection from elites in each mod slot i'm using protection from elites and it will stack together pretty nicely since 
survival specialization will boost that attribute as well. For chess piece, from other hand, I'm running Hunter Killer with perfect intimidate talent, which will give us 40% weapon damage boost. And I'm rolling here as well offensive core attributes since we have 1.8 million armor. And honestly, I think you could go with 1.5 or maybe 1.3 million armor. I would not recommend to use this build with less than 1.3 million armor since there will be no reason to use memento backpack armor regen will not be great and bonus armor on kill will be really really small so keep that in mind 1.5 million i think would be pretty nice sweet spot for holster as you saw i'm running improvised holster just to use the extra mod slot with protection from elites this is how I'm stacking protection from my leads, rather super dope synergy for backpack, of course memento backpack in PV, memento backpack is a king, you have one skill tier, one offensive core attribute and one armor core attribute on kill, you will have huge amount of bonus armor, you can get with full stacks 3% armor regen and of course weapon damage boost. For gloves, I'm running boulevard gloves everywhere, I'm using crit damage or crit chance attributes. For knee pads, again I'm running boulevard, for skills guys you have a couple options if you're gonna fight rogue agents or legendary hunters i would recommend you to use hive reviver hive if things will go so reviver hive will save your ass but a second skill i would recommend to use foam launcher just just to stop your enemies and basically stack your scorpio shotgun but on uh, missions or legendary strongholds you could use shield and maybe drone just to distract uh, your enemies and uh, again just take your shotgun and receive all damage boost debuffs so honestly again it depends on your preference but if you play on if you're gonna fight those bosses use hype reviver hype and foam yep it's pretty simple build, 3 bulwarks, improvised holster, memento backpack and perfect intimidate since intimidate actually will boost as well my assault rifle damage. Thank you for watching and see you soon.